All right, I am in a new city. Hello, hello. <laughs> Can you tell me where's the entrance to the fort? The the main entrance to the fort? The the fort? The the old building? I mean the the old building here. The old building. Yeah, yeah. The entrance there. The entrance. There, there, there. Oh, oh, okay. I go over there. there. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you very much. What else? Ah, no, thank you. Not at the moment. All right. Um, yeah, I am in a new city. I am in Cebu, which is one of the largest cities uh, in the country. As far as I know, I think I read somewhere it's the sixth largest cities here in the Philippines. And it is also a very historical uh, old town. And there's a Spanish fort here. Is my pronunciation for fort wrong? F-O-R-T? Because nobody seems to understand when I'm asking about it. <laughs> the taxi driver also had some problems with that. Ah, no, thank you. Not at the moment. Uh, what, what is this here? Peanuts. Peanuts. Yeah. Ah. ah, maybe later. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, where was I? My pronunciation for Ford. I don't know. In German we say, uh, what's the German word for that? Do we have a German word for that? Ford. I think we say Ford. But anyway, let's check it out. Fort San Pedro. Yeah, this looks like the main entrance here. And wow, so many people here selling water. Seems to be the main business here, selling water. <laughs> but yeah, it's my uh, first day here in Cebu. I would like to get some uh, first impressions and we're going to start right here at the fort. Ah, no, thank you. Uh, is the main entrance here? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, thank you. All right. 1565 wow this means this building is super old and i actually like to uh, check out old buildings like this when i was young i was really really into history and uh, therefore i'm always excited to uh, check out these places the founding of cebu and yeah, maybe we can learn something about uh, the history of this place yeah, I guess um, that the Spanish founded the city then, back in the days. Miguel Lopez founded the first Spanish settlement in Cebu in 1565. That is quite a while ago. Hello. Hi. Do I need a ticket? Yeah. Yes? How much is the ticket? 30. 30 yeah, pesos? You go, you go in and after. I go in and pay when I come back? Yeah? Okay. How how big is it? Like, how much time do I need to walk around? Maybe 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes? You go upstairs and you roam around. They uh -huh. have canyons. Okay. Fishing wheel. Then they have a octagonary. They pin things. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Salamat. All right. So you have to pay 30 pesos entrance. That means that I can pay when I come back, which is nice. Um, okay, first impression here. Whenever I am in uh, historical places like this, I always like to imagine how it looked back in the days. So can you imagine this place 500 years ago? Probably the walls were the same back then. Uh, let's see if we can go upstairs here. crazy that uh, there were human beings 500 years ago and they built a place like this and it still exists here you know so there was a guy 500 years ago lying this brick here and it's still here that is amazing I like historical places I don't really show historical places like this often in my videos because usually that's my experience uh, videos with uh, historical backgrounds or from historical places usually don't get many views um, that's the same case with museums, for example. But uh, maybe it's different here in the Philippines. It's the first time I'm visiting a historical place in a video in the Philippines. So let me know if you like to see these places. So we have huge cannons here. Yeah, I'm wondering if these are original ones that are also hundreds of years old. I mean, it looks definitely like it. But maybe they also replaced them for, yeah, for, the, for the tourists to look at it. Huh. Interesting. 
Yeah, this maybe was a how do you say that in English? An area where there was maybe a little uh, city, maybe some market areas a few hundred years ago. Huh. Okay, let's have a walk around. To be honest, I am a little bit surprised that the walls here are not higher, you know? I mean, the walls is just yeah, reaching uh, not even my stomach. Maybe the people back in the days were much shorter than I am. I mean, I am a tall person, but still, <laughs> it feels like you're easily uh, to attack with uh, walls that are not that high, you know? But maybe also the walls lost a little bit of their height during the years. But yeah, it's actually a very uh, small place here. Took me maybe like, I don't know, three, four minutes to uh, have a walk around now. Oh, unfortunately, I can't go up here. This is probably the main lookout point. Would be nice to go up there. Oh, maybe we can go from this side. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, okay. Ah, check it out. Here the wall is even, even shorter. I'm really wondering if it used to be higher or people just used to be like this tall back in the days. I don't know. <laughs> I pay now? Go, 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 go. Okay, you can... No pay? Okay. Okay. Payment? No, no. No? no? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so then... oh, I don't have to pay. It looks like nobody has to pay at the moment. Everybody's just walking through. So maybe they have a, I don't know, free afternoon or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, it's not a, not a big place here. But if you like to check out historical old buildings, then uh, yeah, why not? Interesting place. Hello. What what is this place? Is it a church? Yeah. Ah, mini church. Ah, I can look around. Okay. Yeah. All right. I just uh, walked by here and I saw there are many many people in here. So I got curious what this place is. But let me put on the mask. Um. Yeah, there's a church, I think. But uh, there seems to be a lot of stuff going on here. People selling uh, balloons. Many people taking pictures here. Oh, I can see already it looks quite impressive from the inside, but I think I'm not allowed to uh, film inside the church. At least that was the case when I visited a church in Manila. Um, let me have a look. Please maintain physical distance. Okay. I don't see any signs of no photos, but uh, I will not speak in here. Yeah, looks quite nice inside, but uh, yeah, I will not go in further with my camera because it's a religious place. So I uh, need to be respectful, not uh, disturb the people inside doing some prayers with my camera. Ah, and people selling these candles here. Oh, hello. Oh, no, thank you. Ah, I saw these candles before on the market in Manila. Um, as far as I remember, these candles, you can burn them and then you get uh, good luck, for example. So these candles seem to be uh, um, popular all around the Philippines. All right. Oh, so much going on here. Also, I'm wondering if you need to buy the candles here or if you can just take them. Oh, must be thousands of candles here. Excuse me. And are these candles for free? So I can just take them and then. Oh, yeah? I think so. Oh. So I just take them, no pay. No, no. Oh, okay, thank you. Ah, okay, so the candles are indeed for free. So you can just take them. Oh. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm very tall, yeah. <laughs> I am a 6'2 or 6'3 something like that yeah yeah I learned to say I learned my uh, height in feet because most people here always ask me how tall I am in uh, feet oh check it out that looks interesting very old Okay, so we learned that you can indeed take these candles here for free. 
and then I think there must be like a religious or spiritual reason to uh, to burn these candles here. And I see people pray here as well. Yeah, somebody of you can explain more about uh, what's going on there. Uh, please let me know in the comment section. I would be happy to learn about it. And yeah, I'm outside of the church now and there are these little uh, shops here. Most of them are currently uh, closed, but they are selling uh, religious items here. Like these little uh, statues here. Hello. Can I have a look at your statues here? Ah. It's a uh, religious statues, right? Yeah. Uh, for, okay. Ah, okay. So these little uh, items here, maybe for, for good luck or to uh, put it in your house for decoration. Ah, even the, the huge statues there. Yeah. Uh, are these angels? Uh, no, that's uh, Jesus. It's Jesus? Yeah. Ah, oh, I didn't recognize this. Oh, this looks like, like Jesus. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Okay. Sir. okay. So yeah, selling these uh, religious items here just outside the church. All right, we have a little uh, market area here. Lots of uh, stalls here, selling fresh fruits, drinks. Mm, and it smells actually quite good here. I think something is uh, being cooked here. Maybe a little soup here. Hello. Hello. What are you cooking here? It smells really good. Soup number five. Soup Power number five. Power fruit? Mm. Power fruit. You call it soup number yes. five? Yes. Why number five? <laughs> <laughs> this one a dip soup. Ah. Is it what is inside? Pork or beef? Uh, beef. Beef? Oh. That beef looks very really good. Ah. This one pork. Chicken. Chicken, okay, okay. Some noodles. Noodles. Uh vegetables. Ah. What what is this here? Is it like um lumpia, lumpia right? I heard about it before, but I never tried it. Only five pieces. How much is one? Five pieces. Okay, I would like to get one. Because I heard about this uh, food before, but I never tried it. Yes, I think some of you in the comment section recommended uh, to try it. How many? Uh, just one. Because I never tried it, and I would like to try it. Oh, I can just take it on my hand. Yes. I just take one, yeah. This one. Okay. Okay, five pesos Only for you. Five. What, what is inside? Uh, pork. Pork? Pork. Okay. Lumpia. It's a uh, Filipino food, right? Okay. Like this? Inside. Ah, okay. Oh, so this is inside. Okay. Okay. So I heard this is a very popular here. So I need to try it. Mm. Yeah, it tastes, tastes like meat, like pork. That one is very this one? Yeah, the, the soup looks very good actually, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But I'm uh, not so hungry now. <laughs> so uh, just, uh, just a small snack. Yes, try it. Oh, it's very masara. I like it. Masara. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. It's, um, the, the look is like, like a spring roll, but I wouldn't com compare it to a spring roll because I think there's only meat inside. What is? What else is inside? Meat and? Is it a carrot? Oh, look, we like this, oh. Hmm? Like pork inside. Also, oh, it's pork inside and this I think one, carrots, right? Pork and inside it, flip a wrapper. Ah, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, it's very good, actually. Mm. Maybe I get some more. Can I get two more? Two more, yeah? Mm, I like it a lot. Wow. So let me see if I have a number 10. Okay. okay. Salamat. Oh. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Mm. Oh, this is very nice actually. I can imagine that even taste better when they are freshly made and still hot. These are like warm but not really hot. Hello. Oh, they are. Oh, what is this? That looks interesting. Hello. What, what is this? What? This? Yeah? What, what is it? Calamari. Calamaris. Oh, let me have a look. 
Fried squid. Fried squid. Mm. Huh? Dili. Dili. Say hi to the vlog. Oh, hello. <laughs> I watched your video. You saw me before? Uh, yeah, last morning. Oh, that's possible, yeah. On, on YouTube or on Facebook? On Facebook. Oh, on Facebook, yeah. yeah. Mm? Oh, that's nice. Uh, I'm wondering how, how do you eat this because it looks like a, like a mess. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you can have it with your you, you, fingers. You, like you cut a little bit of it? You can, yeah. but you can have it whole. Like you do that thing. Oh. <laughs> Is it possible to get just a small piece to try it? Why do you want to eat it? Why do you want it? You have to buy the whole thing. I have to buy the whole thing. Yeah, and they can but it, it looks it looks so big. Nah. I will show you. Ah, like this. Ah, okay, I see. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, when I buy you, you cut it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How much yeah. is one? One fifty. One fifty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that, a, that a local price? That's the normal local price. Yeah. One fifty. No. It's it's the first time you came here. Ah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, let's see how she uh, cuts it here. Oh. Do you have a, a bag? I can take it. Yes, you want to eat this? But I would like for, for takeaway. Oh. And I only only eat one piece here. Eat this. Okay, um, I will just try one piece here and then uh, take the rest uh, for later. So it's sweet, right? Yeah. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not as chewy as I uh, remember it's good. I don't eat squid often. It's usually not my, my favorite uh, food. So I, but I remembered it to be very chewy, and this one is actually not chewy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. It's masala. Masala. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I think it was the first time I ate seafood in the Philippines. Okay, one fifty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can change. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Salamat. Thank you very much. Okay. We need to try this one, sir. Octopus. Uh, good, sir. Normally, I don't like octopus. Okay. okay. <laughs> But what what is the the sauce around it? Getting sauce like um, sauce is saying water, water, water. Seven up. Seven up? Yeah. You make a sauce with seven up. Oh, <laughs> okay. One. This one. Soup number five. Soup number five. Yes. You want to take this? Ah no, thank you. I'm okay, okay with the squid now. Thank you very much. Okay. okay bye, bye bye. Why is every soup called soup number five here? But it seems to be popular to uh, make uh, soups here by the side of the road. Almost every stall has a big pot of uh, soup here. Mm. Hello, hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh, we have a market area here as well. And I see basketball jerseys over there. Um, I almost gave up to find a Filipino basketball jersey, but mm, let's see. So we have no. Hello. Do you have a Filipino basketball jersey? Uh, basketball? But uh, from Philippine. Yeah, but I'm looking for the Gilas Filipinas. The Filipino with Philippines. Oh. Uh, no have. No have. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much. No, nobody sells uh, Gilas Filipinas. The national jersey from the Philippines. Let's have a look here. Hello. Do you have a basketball jersey from the Philippines? No. No. Only USA? Yeah. Mm. I also think these are not really my size. Oh. Okay, thank you. To be honest, I'm not really sure if this area is a tourist area or a local market here. Because I'm not actually not really sure how touristy this area of the town is actually. 
<laughs> hello, hello. Hello. I am too tall for your market. Yeah. I can't stand here. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the ceiling is very low here. So I need to walk around the market like this. But uh, this is not the first time this happens to me in Asia. Ah, hello. <laughs> I somehow have the feeling that this is not a touristy area based on the, the looks I get here. Hello. Whenever people are very surprised to see me, it usually means that the area is not a really touristy area where they don't see Western tourists that often. So I think this is like uh, the city center here. Looks like a busy main road here. And I have to say this area reminds me a lot about some areas that I saw in Manila. Lots of things are going on on the streets. People selling all kinds of stuff on the street, drinks, food, clothing, t-shirts, caps, socks. You can find everything here. And I saw this also in some areas of Manila. But the difference is, but I think that is uh, because the city is much smaller and um, it's not as chaotic and busy here. Hello. Um, it's not as chaotic and busy here, but yeah, of course, it's uh, not as big of a city as Manila. So I would say if you really don't like huge cities and huge mega cities easily stress you out, then this is a much uh, quieter and calmer option. But I would say it is as interesting to walk around here as it is in Manila if you are a fan of uh, seeing uh, stuff going on on the streets, you know, lively streets, markets on the streets, something like that. Excuse me, are you a taxi? No. Taxi? Uh, yeah, yeah. You? I want to go to SM Cebu City. Yeah, how much? 100. Okay. Right. Yeah, I want to go to a, to a big mall. Okay. How long do we need? Excuse me? How, how long do we need? How many minutes? 15 minutes? Okay. Right, 15 minutes to ride through the city. Taking motorbike taxi is always a good uh, opportunity to actually see something from the city. Okay, Salamat. Thank you very much. Okay, how much? Alright. Uh, can change? Oh no, 100. Okay, Salamat, thank you. All right, that was an easy ride, around 10 minutes, I would guess. And I think I got charged a fair price. Do you remember when I took this tricycle on the beach in Manila and I got charged 150 pesos for literally just a three, four minute ride? So many of you guys in the comment section told me that I got overcharged there. Um, but this time, 100 for like a 10 minute motorbike ride that uh, sounds fair to me but yeah feel free to uh, let me know in the comment section if this was fair or not but anyway SM mall this is in fact one of the biggest malls in the Philippines and I would like to check it out for one specific reason which I will tell you in a minute Hello. I think they have two entrances here, one only for women and one, one only for men. That's uh, interesting. By the way, we have Jollibee here. Jollibee is one of the most popular fast food restaurants here. And uh, I saw some comments before suggesting that I should review it and try it in uh, one of the videos. So let me know in the comment section if I should really do that. I haven't tried it yet so far, but I'm actually curious to try it. Um, okay, we have a little food court down there and I am actually getting hungry. Should I try Jollibee now? Uh, no, I think that's gonna be a whole video. Um, okay, so before I check out the food court down there, there's one shop that I would like to find here. Because I read in the comment section from you guys that a store called Toby's is actually selling Philippine basketball jerseys. 
And uh, I checked on Google Maps and there is such a store inside this mall. All right, Chobi Sports. According to uh, some of you guys in the comment section, this shop sells Filipino basketball jerseys. So my final hope, let's check it out. Hi, sir. Hello. I'm, I'm looking for Philippine basketball jerseys. Oh, you don't have? Sorry. You don't have? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, because so many people told me that I can find here. Yeah, but we didn't have stock, sir. Oh, normally you have, but you don't have stock. Yeah, uh, uh. yeah we didn't have, sir. sir. Okay. Yeah. Do you know any else, any place where I can find it in this mall? You don't know? So it's so hard to find. No shop sells it. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, we have sport clothing here, but okay. <laughs> I really don't know where to look for. Like, um, thank you, by the way, for all your comments, uh, suggesting places where I can find it. Some comments said, uh, go to official Nike stores, been there, they don't have it. Go to this shop, been there, they don't have it. Look for it on street markets, on Bodakai, many different places in Manila probably can order it online on Shopee or something, but I don't really want to order it online, you know. I want to find it somewhere in a proper place. Huh, okay, let's get some food. All right, Ina Sal. I'm not sure if this is a local Filipino restaurant, but it is by far the most busy restaurant around here. So I'm curious. And they have Halo Halo here which uh, I heard is very popular a dessert here, but I've never tried it before. So I definitely want to try this. Oh, check out the chicken. Ah, that looks very good. Oh, oh, the chicken looks very delicious. Hello, um, can I get a chicken? Chicken in a salad? Only this one? Okay. It's called pecho. Onion rice or one rice? Uh, with rice. Onion and rice? With, with rice. One rice only? One rice only, yeah. Please, only iced tea available. So. Okay, one iced tea. And uh, one halo halo. Small regular. Uh, regular. Okay, that's it. I repeat your order, sir. Only one pecho, one rice. Please, mm -hmm. only iced tea. Uh -huh. And one halo halo regular. Yeah, right. 242 pesos. 242. How does it work? I take this to the seat? Yes, sir. And then somebody will bring it? Yeah? The number will be called at the side, sir. Oh, the number will be called? In English? How do I understand? <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, I don't think the number will be called in English, but uh, well, let's see. Maybe I just wait here until. Uh, Oh, check it out. It looks like a very popular local restaurant here. I don't see any other foreigners in here. The, the chicken looks so good, I can't wait to try it. Thank you. So they did indeed call the number in English. Maybe they just did it because they saw I'm a foreigner, or maybe they do it in general, I don't know. But uh, check out what is in front of me now. That chicken looks so juicy and so delicious. Oh my god. And then I'm also having this huge uh, bowl of dessert here called Halo Halo, which uh, I heard is one of the most popular desserts here in the Philippines. So this is going to be my first time trying this. I'm very excited. Okay, the first question now, um, how do I eat this? I see other people eating this with their hands, but I guess you need a uh, spoon for the dessert. Let's see. Do you have a spoon here? Ah, ah over here. Ah. ah, thank you so much. Ah, you can get it here, okay. Ah, did you just hear that? She uh, still calls the numbers in English, so it seems to be normal. 
always uh, exciting to be a foreigner in a foreign restaurant and you have no idea what's going on and how to order and where to get anything. And so many uh, eyes on me, many people uh, look at me all around. <laughs> what is this foreigner doing here with the camera in his hand? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm used to that. And um, okay. So where should I start? Um, the dessert. Oh, that looks so good. But uh, before we dig into that, let me eat uh, the chicken. Yeah, okay. So what are we having here? This, I guess, is soy sauce. Maybe not. I'm not sure. So excuse me if this is wrong. If you eat it uh, normally, not like this. But uh, yeah, I have no idea. So I put it over the chicken and over the rice. And then this. Maybe sweet chili sauce. Or it could also be a, like a honey sauce. Actually, not sure. And then we have this here. Which, uh, how should I open this? Well, actually, I think it is a little bit open. I don't know. Do you squeeze it like this? Well, excuse me if this is completely the wrong way to eat. Feel free to correct me in the comment section how to properly eat this. But I have no idea. Normally I'm looking on the other tables how the locals are eating it, but uh, nobody is currently starting the dish now, so I can't really uh, see it. So. I think the easiest way would be to eat it with the hands. Oh my god, this looks so delicious. the dessert and yeah, I'm very curious uh, what is inside here so I uh, just asked Google and according to Google halo halo means mix mix if you translate it literally and uh, uh, typically combines layers of sweetened chickpeas red and or white mung beans palm seeds jackfruit saba bananas by the way, I think this is the jackfruit here, maybe. Um, what else? Coconut jellies, tapioca pearls, sweet potato cubes, and of course, shaved ice. So, uh, a bowl of literally everything, a mix, a huge mix. So, I guess this is ice cream here. Mm. Yes, it is. And what is this? Is this condensed milk? It looks a little bit like a vanilla pudding. Mm. Oh, I think it's um, a yeah, sweet condensed milk. Oh, super. Oh, this is going to be a, a huge sweet bomb. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, oh yeah, we have shaped ice here. Okay. Okay, how do you eat this? Do you mix everything? Or do you just eat it uh, piece by piece? I think you're supposed to mix everything because yeah, the, the the halo halo literally translated means mix mix. So that's what I'm doing now. Mix everything. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, vanilla looking like cream here. That is so delicious. Mm. And I like the, the mix of different uh, consistencies and flavors. Like you have the, the jelly 
things inside. You have the, the beans, the, the pudding, the ice. So many different uh, type of ingredients, you know. Definitely delicious, but um, I think nothing I can eat every day. Or let's say like there's nothing I should eat every day. Because it's probably a huge calorie bomb. <laughs> oh my god. But wow, this is delicious. I have to say it reminds me a little bit about a chendo, a very popular dessert in Malaysia, which is also yeah, a bowl mixed with uh, different ingredients. Some of them are similar. And then a sweet coconut milk and also a lot of shaved ice inside. So it's actually a little bit similar like chandol, but um, the, the sweet condensed milk, I think it is sweet condensed milk, the vanilla pudding looking like thing, uh, gives it a totally different flavor actually. And yeah, I have to say the, the flavor of this condensed milk is really the, the flavor that you taste the most, overtaking uh, most of the other flavors, I would say. Oh, is this a piece of banana here? Hmm. So many surprises in here. <laughs> Alright, this was an amazing meal. The chicken was super delicious. The halo halo was wow. Amazing. Really enjoyed this meal. And by the way, if you have any recommendations of uh, places I need to see here in Cebu. I'm also planning to go around the Cebu Island. Then please let me know in the comment section. I always love to get recommendations from you guys. And yeah, I think we got some nice first impressions today of Cebu City. So far, I really like it here. And yeah, if you haven't seen my previous video where we explored around Boracay Island, one of the most popular islands here in the Philippines, then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao.